Santa Cruz, California. A paradise, some would say a home away from home, an educational mecca, a destination for amusement. However, can Santa Cruz truly be called a California paradise without a truly California institution? I'm of course speaking of In-N-Out Burger, a restaurant that has captured both the hearts and the stomachs of the student population. Well, UCSC, your dreams are about to come true. I'm Paul Vasquez with the story. In-N-Out Burger, founded in 1948, has become a staple in many Californians' diet. Since its founding, the popular burger chain has garnered a loyal fan base, many of whom can be found among our student body. I, one of my favorite fast foods places, like we go when I was back at home in Cal, um, Cupertino, we went like every other week. So, like, one of my favorite places to go. <laughs> we love In and Out so much. Uh, I think everyone from like SoCal here really likes it. <laughs> they all miss it. I love In and Out. I absolutely love it. Um, it's one of the best restaurants ever. It's so simple, but burgers, man. <laughs> In spite of the obvious support the franchise has at UCSC, and in and out remains absent from Santa Cruz County. However, this fact has not gone unnoticed. And it'd be very convenient if there was one in Santa Cruz for us students. Uh, it sucks. I mean, come on, the best burgers ever. McDonald's has nothing on this. Burger King has nothing on this. In and out. We are so tired of college nights food because it's always just the same burgers, pizza. What else do they have? Burritos. Every single day, three times a meal, and I can't take it anymore. So if there was an in and out I would be amazed. But if there was an in and out in Santa Cruz, would you ever eat at the College 910 Dining Hall? Probably not. Yeah, or but either I, much But less. I wouldn't eat at in and out every day. It's just, it, would be, it would be nice to have one. These students may finally get their wish. In an email from Carl Van Fleet, Vice President of Planning and Development for in and out Van Fleet states, our real estate team has been looking at Santa Cruz County for some time, and we hope to be there in the not-too-distant future. in and out plans to build a location in Santa Cruz County, with Watsonville making a strong push for the franchise. Because of Santa Cruz's restrictive drive through policies, the Watsonville location, right off the one freeway next to the Red Roof Inn, seems likely. This would be an incredible improvement as the closest in and out now is 33 miles away in San Jose over the treacherous 17. Whether in and out chooses a Watsonville or Santa Cruz location, students are justifiably excited about the possibility of an in and out in SC. Have you guys heard that there is a possibility of one opening no. in downtown Santa Cruz no, or Watsonville? No. Nope. no. <laughs> well, there <laughs> is. <laughs> really? <laughs> How do you guys oh, feel oh that they're looking for a spot right now? Oh, awesome. Have you heard that um, Santa Cruz County could potentially get an in and out? I have now, and <laughs> this is awesome, and I'll go the first day it's open. We should take over borders, make a huge <laughs> Borders? <laughs> Why borders? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's food's yeah. more important than books. No, I'm just kidding. But if it was somewhere I'm close, that'd be pretty awesome. Like, if it's close to campus, I think they'd have a lot of traffic going in, so I'm yeah. sure everybody would go. <laughs> yes, 10 student, I think we all would go. This is Paul Vasquez, signing off.